Okay, this is Peter's record 136. Um, I'm, this video is going to be about <coughs> my Plano uh, tackle system. It's a 500 piece fishing kit with some additional pieces that I put in, which is stuff I made myself, which is just fishing floats. Um, I'm going fishing tomorrow and I'm walk, uh, probably going to walk or it's not too far from here, probably about 2k walk, roughly, and um, this box gets heavy carrying it there and back, and it's a bit of a pain, so, and it doesn't fit in the backpack that I have, so that's why I've got an alternative, which is just a lunchbox with one, two, three, four compartments in it, and um, I'm just going to, this is the first time I'm going to try this, that'll definitely fit in the lunchbox, um, so what I'll need is... I will probably end up needing to do, oh, it's pretty dirty in here actually, I should probably clean it out. Um, I need, you'll need a good knife, definitely, this is a good one, I like this one. Um, the, yeah, the, I'll tell you why you need a good knife in a second. I'll, I'll take them two. You'll need a scaler, you can also use a knife, but I'll take that. Probably won't need this. To, this is a hook remover, I probably won't need that because, um, well, you won't need it because I've got pliers on my multi tool. Um, fishing floats, homemade. Well, I've never used them. Um, I'll take, take a cork and the ping pong ball one to test it. I mean, I've never used it, so it's worth giving it a shot. Rod and reel, that could be. Oh, yeah, it might be worth taking and a ruler to measure your fish because you don't want undersized fish. Now, the fish that I mainly ca that, that I catch at this river is usually yeah I'm doing river fishing. The fish that I usually catch is um, mullet. If I'm, yeah, mullet. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, and um, their legal size limit is if they're 15 centimeters and over. I'm taking. 15 centimeter ruler, so I usually do river fishing, but with carp fish and stuff, I catch that a lot too. Usually put that back in the water because um, carp fish not the best to eat, and even though you're supposed to leave them out of the water because they're a pest, I put them back in because it's always good to know that when you come back, there'll be more fish to catch. So you want your ruler and uh, close that back up. Now in the bottom here I've got some sinkers and stuff, a proper float, I'll take that. You've got jig eyes and stuff. Um, you've got, well, I've, this is something I added. Another thing I've added which is a, um, a Tom's um, plazo, plazos. They're just um, like flavor fishing lures and stuff. So they go there. I've got some eyes, some some of these swivels, different size swivels. Got some swivels. I've got some of the swivels with a with a clip on it, like that. Um, got some of these. Um, I don't know what they're called. Ring tailed. I don't know. Uh, little soft plastics. Got a couple of sinkers. I got these things which I really do not know what they're used for. I've always wanted to know what they're used for, but I have absolutely no idea. And that should be in there. I've got one of these set up. And that uh, oh yeah. Now the hooks um when I go, when you go, the, the trout, um, I take, use little hooks because, well, they've only got little mouths, no, mullet, I catch mullet, sorry, um, they've only got little mouths, so I'll use these little tiny itty bitty hooks, they're actually pretty small, little itty bitty hooks, because I'm, the mullet bite onto them really well, so it's just like a snatch. As soon as they grab onto it, you, most of the time it actually hooks them on. But I like pull back and strike, 
anyways, just in case they haven't hooked on. So that's the size I'll use. Alright, so in the next tray. So from here, I'll probably only need um, that proper float. Sinkers I don't use because it just brings the float down and it's harder for me to see um, whether or not it's bobbing or not or whether or not a fish is on it because it's like half, three quarters of the way underwater so you can't really tell. Um, I might need a few swivels. Um, sometimes I use them, I don't, sometimes, so I might just take, I don't know, one of each size. You want a bit of, you want a bit extra just in case you snap your line. Now this tray looks empty, it's not. It's got, Oh crap, almost out of hooks. Well, I'm almost out of them little tiny hooks. How careful when you do that, because, um, yeah, these hooks hurt. These are pretty new, I got this for Christmas, um, 2000 and... Uh, 11. This is now 2012. 28 of the 6. 2012. So you've got your different sized hooks here. I take these, so I'll definitely need a few of them. I might take. Oh, that's that's more than enough, but I'll bring them back. And uh, that's pretty much all I will need. So how I go about this is, um, I've got a probably, I think if I'm, I've got a beach fishing set up on my, um, rod at the moment, which is like a gang hooks, I've got gang hooks set up on my thing, so I'll have to cut them off and, sing, uh, like, I'll just, um, cut it off and hang them up on the bit of board, because in my shed we've got a bit of wooden board where we just put the hooks into, and, like, the hang off it. And, um, like, the board is, like, long. It's probably about three metres high and about 15 centimetres wide, something like that. And we just hook them in on the top so they don't get tangled and so we don't have to make it over again. And my room is a bit of a mess. But, yeah, so, basically, this is how I go about I Usually, in this compartment, I put um, the hooks... In this compartment here, I'd usually have um, the knives. So that's the knives. That's the hooks. Um, usually, I'd put my sinkers here. If, um, I'm not sure will they all fit. Yep. Yeah. And then on the bottom, I'd put a. On the bottom, I put my hand line and uh, that, and my ruler, which probably will not close, which it does, not really, but you know, it's it's all right because I can just take the hand rule out and put it in my bag. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, tell me if you like it. Please, if I'd like some more ideas of how I can make smaller, or of how I can use smaller containers to travel my stuff. But I'm um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye.